Hey guys, this is Kurob speaking. Today I'm going to show you the final tutorial mission of the upcoming demo release of automation. Enjoy. Alright, so let's get started. The fifth tutorial mission is called More Power and is all about making more power, as you might have guessed. So um, let's jump right into it. We are currently in 1970 and um, this is a small British engine which um, can't compete with the German more power um, engines which they usually build. So um, we are going to change that and for this purpose the British have hired a German engineer which will will take a look at that engine and uh, rebuild it to have really good performance. So, um, yes, this engine has both cost requirement and power requirement, of course, and it should last longer than a given value, and also it should not be all too loud. Uh, one funny little restriction is that we have to use DCOE carburetors, and, uh, yeah, well, let's do that. We go through each tab one by one and see what we can change. Ta-da! Oh, that was fast. We are already done with the first tab. Um, right, so we're going to use carburetors and they usually run on lower compressions. Um, but we are running a sports engine and we do not have a um, RPM limit, actually. So we should maybe let it rev a bit. Let's put it at 70 and see what comes out of it. Um, oh yes, then we have this little slider. And um, that's a very interesting one. If you do not have variable valve timing, for example, then you can choose one RPM value for which the valve timings are perfectly optimized. And this should, for a race car or a sports car engine, probably be close to its maximum um, RPM value. So um, let's just decide we go for 7000 RPM as a maximum and then we take it to uh, 6880 as a kind of resonance frequency right so the fuel system um, carburetors it is because we cannot choose anything else we can go for performance filters though and I hope the lifespan requirements Okay with that, and we can choose dual or twin carburetors actually. Um, that can be pretty interesting. Let's see how much power gets we get out of one. Don't forget we have the cost limitation here, so going for two is like twice as expensive almost. So let's let's choose the single one for a moment. Um, right. Oh, okay, next field. Very interesting. I guess this would be something which many people miss. There is no fuel limitation. So, of course, you want to go for the highest octane one, right? 98 instead of 92. Very nice. Then we see we do not have an economy requirement either. So, let's have it at maximum. The perfect setting for generating as much power as possible. Um, then we have the ignition timing which we could probably go for, let's put it at a medium high setting there and see what comes out of it. Um, right, we wanted to go for, what was it again? Let's check it. So we want to go for 7000 RPM. Let's do this. And um, Aspiration is of course nothing on there, but then the fuel, uh, the exhaust system. Right. Uh, let's take a look at this. Short cast? No, no. Uh, we should have at least um, tubular headers again, um, and I would actually go for well, the long ones. I think the pretzel ones are still a bit overkill, especially with the cost requirement there. So let's go for the long ones again, like in the previous tutorial. And let's see, um, for power output, we want not to be limited there again. We do have loudness restriction again, but this time it doesn't give us too much score. Um, of course, no catalytic converter with leaded fuel, that would not work too well. 
Um, right. Mufflers. Um, not baffled ones, please. Uh, let's just go for the setup we had in the last one, too. Um, reverse flow there. Yeah, I should work out fine. Okay, let's hope for the best. Let's go. At least we don't seem to be knocking or something. That's looking pretty good. <laughs> Massive backfiring at the end. <laughs> oh my. Uh Okay, so we, we reached server rank here. Um, pretty neat score, almost gold. Uh, let's give it one more round there, really. Uh, we are very far off the fu maximum fuel octane rating, or run number. So there is a lot we can do with this. Um, <coughs> I don't really like what the curve here did. Let's see what happens if we just let it go to a bit higher of uh, RPM 8000 and uh, let's just run it and see what happens um, I skipped the test okay it drops off there so we could oh but yes you see it here we are right we were right at the limit of um, our lifespan requirements so let's put it back where it was that was pretty good um, right what more can we change yes we could up compression quite a bit let's do that uh, it should go for at least 10.5, I would guess. And let's run. Yes, okay. Um, no knocking there. We upped it by 99 points by producing more power by um, through changing compression to a higher value. And we're pretty close to the optimum one now. So, yes, I guess I don't want to optimize this scenario um, so that you can do anything any longer. So yeah, right. So be the German engineer and fix this engine. And for Germans it's nothing less than platinum, you know. So um, yeah, have a good one. And remember, tomorrow, release day! So, <laughs> see you then. Bye bye!